Hey guys, welcome to JoJo Setter Reviews and more. I'm JoJo. Tonight I'm going to be reviewing Schlitz. This is a very special beer, um, American made. It's one of the American classics. It's 4.6% alcohol by volume. It was originally established in 1849 by Joseph Schlitz Brewing Company. And so it's just, it was very popular. It's still pop, I mean, not as popular today, but uh, it was very popular back in especially the 50s, 60s. 70s and even 80s, I think. Back in the 50s, I read that it uh, kind of went so uh, it went back and forth between Budweiser and uh, Schlitz as to who was more popular, um, made more sales. It was very popular at one time. Um, this is also a, um, a beer out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and has a lot of famous slogans. This beer um, it was known as the beer that made Milwaukee famous. And when you're out of Schlitz, you're out of beer. Was another famous slogan. This particular formula of Schlitz was introduced in 2000, around 2008. Uh, prior to that, they had a different version. Um, this is 16, <clears throat> 16 ounces, this can. And yeah, just back in its heyday, it was one of the beers in America. Even now, if you watch like movies from the, you know, step, that are set in the 1980s or made in the 1980s, um, you, you see this on tap. I think I was watching a movie recently, Midway, I believe, which was set in like, oh, the 40s, and they had Schlitz in the um, the bar. So very well-known beer um, back in the day. It, you know, it's still available. Kind of, It's kind of hard to get now. I can get the uh, six-pack um, of these tall cans at my local uh, liquor store. I can also get bottles around here as well. And I've always enjoyed Schlitz when I've had it. Um, my dad really liked it a lot, so I just really wanted to review this. Um, Schlitz has had different beers too. I think Schlitz Ice, Malt Liquor, which they, I don't think they it's around anymore. They had a Schlitz Dark, I believe. So let's get right into the uh, review. Since my dad liked this beer a lot, I wanted to show off this glass I just got. It says Pikey on it, which was uh, my dad's nickname. So this is for you, dad. You can see the foam right there on the can. It's going for the pour. All right. Look at that. Very good looking beer. Um, yellow straw colored appearance. Very, very good head retention. That's like a, I would say, three finger head. You can see totally through the glass. Um, some bubbles streaming up to the surface. It just looks crystal clear, clean, refreshing beer that you just want to drink. Um, just looks amazing. It's going for the aroma. Oh, by the way, I'd say, I would say that's not even a cream colored head, just a straight up white head there. Um, good head retention. Smells sweet. Smell some straw there. Just smells like clean water. Bready. Maybe a touch of hops. Just smells sweet, malty. Really, really good. Maybe a little bit of honey there. Without further ado, guys, salute. Salute, dad. Super refreshing, um, sweet, just a touch of bitterness on the back end. I don't believe I have the IBUs here, um, but yeah, just get some white bread notes, um, just the clean taste, uh, dry finish, mouthfeel is, mouthfeel is light. Still really good head retention there and good lacing, soapy lacing around the glass there. Yeah, it's just, it's so drinkable. This is like, I can see why this was so popular and still is, you know, continued to be sold. It's just really, really good. Um, yeah, mouthfeel light. 
you know, for a score, judging within the American adjunct style, we're going 9.1 out of 10. Very, very good. I highly recommend it. Um, I'm lucky enough to get, you know, get in my area. I know it's hard to find. If you can try it, I definitely recommend it. Schlitz. This was so popular back in the day. Do some research on it if you're interested. Um, just really, really great beer. Um, and I'm going to go with an A-. And I appreciate you guys watching. Until next time, salute.